The human brain is constantly nourished by blood flowing rapidly in tunnels that pass in and around the brain. A barrier between the blood and brain lines these tunnels, limiting the blood cells from crossing over into and interacting with the brain. Most scientists have long held a belief that these blood cells are independent from the brain pathology seen in psychotic illnesses such as schizophrenia. Professor Cindy Shannon Weikert, working at Neuroscience Research Australia, Neura, in Sydney, has challenged this long-held assumption and has made an exciting new breakthrough. Understanding the significance of this breakthrough requires an investigative mind to ask critical questions about what is happening in the brain at the scene of the crime. Where did it happen? Who are the suspects? And what was their intention? Schizophrenia researchers have long recognized three key suspects at the crime scene within the brain. The neurons, the glia, and the endothelial cells. The neurons are important, but we don't think they're necessarily the protagonists in the story. The glial cells are considered nerve glue and they support the neurons. The endothelial cells line the walls of the blood-brain barrier. However, one candidate has been ignored and that's the blood cells. Why? Because they've long been viewed simply as travelers, just thought to be passing by. Red and white blood cells, the immune cells, were not considered to be residents of the brain, nor were they thought of as visitors dropping in to mix with the resident cells. So they have never been a suspect until now. What we have discovered that in the people with schizophrenia, the glial cells, one of the local residents, can become inflamed and produce distress signals, which change the status of the endothelial cells. The endothelial cells then extend sticky tentacles. So when the immune cells are traveling by in the blood, some are captured and they're encouraged to transmigrate across the blood-brain barrier, gaining entry into the brain. This is a major breakthrough. We have found immune cells on the brain side of the endothelial wall in greater amounts in people with schizophrenia with inflammation. So why is this important, you may ask? Well, you can liken this to an unsolved crime case. All of a sudden, a new suspect arrives at the scene of the crime. But here's the twist. It has always been at the scene of the crime, but has gone undetected by scientists for the last hundred years. Why is this important? Well, first of all, because it suggests that the pathology of schizophrenia could be within the immune cells, and these cells could be triggering the symptoms of psychosis. Number two, none of the medicines we use today directly target the immune system in the treatment for schizophrenia. And number three, if we're serious about changing the fate of those living with schizophrenia, we need to engage immunologists on our team to join the fight. These findings suggest we need to look at whole new avenues of therapy to dampen down the immune system in a variety of ways or to block the entry of the immune cells into the brain. Here at Neura, we are doing just that by working with immunologists in new clinical trials and we're starting to produce encouraging results. This has been my life's goal, to discover the cause of schizophrenia, to support those living with the disease and their families. And we hope to have the results of our latest clinical trials released later this year. So stay tuned. Thank you.